Cal Worthington. He's a television advertising icon and frankly one of my heroes as a foreign owner of sort. And I thought to myself, what a great way to, to learn about a fun and interesting guy and talk to Cal Worthington. So we took a trip, my crew and I, up to Sacramento and found out exactly what Cal Worthington is in life. Well, let's see what Cal had to say right here. <laughs> Hello, Cal State, L.A. <laughs> Here's Cal Worthington and his dog Spot. If you need a car or truck, go see Cal. If you want to save a buck, go see Cal. Now that is a familiar sound. Cal Worthington and his dog Spot. These are commercials that we see nightly here in Southern California. It is a blitz campaign that he's been using for a lot of years to sell cars. He is one of the world's largest car dealers with five dealerships, two here in Southern California, one in Carlsbad, one in Sacramento, and another in Alaska. What else is there behind Cal Worthington? Well, I mean, aside from the fact that he's tall and lanky, he is 76 years old and showing no signs of stopping. Today, we're gonna find out his views on television, his driving force, and his views on success. Plus, we'll even hear him sing a nice little song just I will stand us. upon my head to beat all deals. I will stand upon my head till my ears are turning red. Go see Cal, go see Cal, go see Cal. Welcome to Sacramento, California. We're at the corporate headquarters for Cal Worthington. I am secretly disguised today as a car salesman to try to fit in. No, actually, I'm just wearing a shirt and tie just to look professional. But otherwise, we're going to see what Cal Worthington's life is like on a daily basis. Well, this is where Cal Worthington comes to work every morning, Worthington Chevrolet. It looks kind of funny to Southern Californians considering we know him for Worthington Ford but his work started over 50 years ago in Corpus Christi, Texas, in front of a post office. But I said, now I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I've got a car here I'm gonna sell. I've only got one, when it's gone, it's gone. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do, make you deal in this car. You know? And I got a crowd around me. I started kind of like a, a huckster, and I got a big crowd around me, and I sold my car. I made a nice profit on the car. And I took the proceeds of the sale and uh, purchased that little gas station. And that's how I started in the car business. And along the way, television has been a steady companion for his success. TV used to be a lot more effective than it is now. It was very economical at first, um, and we'd get tremendous crowds of people after we'd go on TV. Now and then you give a party and nobody comes, uh, but uh, we still do well with it, but it used to be enormously successful. And what about his dog, Spot? Well, there never really was a dog named Spot. It was just a gimmick that they used. Spot is actually the name of their advertising company, Spot Advertising. It's located in Sacramento, along with Cal's own studio, where he tapes his commercials. He has a library of old commercials, and his grandson, Neil, handles that end of the broadcasting business. I film Cal in front of the green screen. Then I take uh, source footage from the various dealerships and combine it with that, with the green screen footage, to make the finished commercials. Then I dub them all and send them out to various stations. Hey, if you're shopping for a new or used car or truck, drop by Worthington Ford. Give us a chance at the deal, and we'll give you a boom box free. You don't have to buy from us. But look at this. A brand new 97 Ford Escort for $99.95. A brand new 97 Ford Mustang, $13,795. So what drives Cal Worthington to become the success that he has become? It's Worthington Is it the American dream? Is it the love for We're money? On Warren Road, that the answer to my surprise every day. See you here. he grew up with nine other siblings in dire poverty. And he remembers being in a room, listening to his parents, wondering where food might come the next day. I think I'm driven more by fear than anything else. I think I'm driven by fear of poverty. I don't think if I had $10 billion that I'd ever escape the fear of poverty because we were so poor for so long. And I'd hear my parents talking about the uh, dire circumstances that we were living in. And, and you know, we didn't, have, we didn't have anything. A lot of times we didn't have food. And I'd hear my parents just, talking in desperation, what are we going to do, what are we going to do, what kind of talk, and that, that makes a big impression on a youngster, it did me. And with a driving force like that, there is no wonder that Cal overcame the trials and tribulations of society and became the successful automobile mogul that he is. I also pose the question to Cal, how do you know when you're successful in your life? When will you know, how does it feel when you've achieved all that you can become and truly be successful. I think success means uh, being able to get up in the morning and, and go to work and enjoy the work. I think if you, if, you, if you don't like your job, you're not successful. I think if you like what you're doing, if, uh, then I think you're very successful. 
and a success he is indeed. Straight from him, let's hear his trademark. If you need a better car, go see Cal. For the best deal by far, go see Cal. If you want your payments low, if you want to save some dough, go see Cal, go see Cal, go see Cal, and be damn quick about it. <laughs> okay, see you later. If you need a car or truck, go see Cal. If you want to save a buck, go see Cal. If you want a brand new Dodge in your driveway or garage, go see Cal, go see Cal, go see Cal. If you're little short of cash, go see Cal. Trouble's over in a flash, go see Cal. The down payment he'll arrange, get a 10-day trial exchange, go see Cal, go see Cal, go see Cal. If you want more for your trade, go see Cal. Better deals were never made, go see Cal. If you need a car or truck, if you want to save a buck, if you want to change your luck, go see Cal. If you want a better buy, go see Cal. Satisfy, go see Cal. Give a new car to your wife, she will love it all her life. Go see Cal, go see Cal, go see Cal. Oh, I'm sorry, I, I didn't know you were there.